Hello, welcome to the Water Cube here at Stockholm's Water Week. Uh, would you mind beginning by introducing yourself and showing us your name card? I'm Sabal and I'm with the International Youth Council mm -hmm. and this is my and I'm here in um, Stockholm at World Water Week. It's amazing. Um, more youth should come. I'm a is it your first time here? It is my first time here. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's very exciting. I'm learning a lot about um, urbanization of water more than just water. Of course, we all know a little bit about water, at least we yeah. should, <laughs> because water is so vital to our existence. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a kind of hidden aspect of a lot of the things that we do. I've been very involved with um, the major group of children and youth um, who are advocating at the UN Commission on Sustainable Development. And we do a lot of work on, for example, last year's commission on waste and transportation and mining. But we never mentioned water. and. It wasn't until I got involved with the World Water Forum that, and preparations for that that I realized how crazy it was that we weren't considering water because without water how can you have sustainable development and there is no such thing as you can't consume if you don't have water and you like all the other problems, the root cause, if you bring it down to it is water. Um, in many ways. Of course climate change is happening, it's an unescapable fact, but you can't solve anything unless you consider water as a core component and it seems to be something that we always push aside as of course water is important but we're not going to deal with it right now and it's scary because I was recently at a talk earlier, well yesterday, and I was looking at the dead spots on our planet and it was scary for me as a youth to think that <laughs> In the future, they're going to be parts. The water is going to become such a big priority because water is going to become, in some ways, extinct in certain yeah. areas, and it's just scary to think. Because I've always relied on the watersheds, and I always thought we could just drill another well. But to think that if watersheds are changing, patterns of water are changing. It's just such a vast topic, mm -hmm. and I'm learning a lot. And how have you um, introduced water as a more important topic at the International Youth Council? Well, water has become more, well I've introduced it in part of the dialogue, I've been trying to get people involved. It's very important that youth are agents of change and are, because we are key stakeholders in the water debate and we are often very overlooked because it's, sometimes it's hard to have our opinion valued because we're considered to be inexperienced or young or too idealistic or too something, whereas we have a lot to contribute because not only are we the future generation, we're also the current generation and we have to make the changes if we want to survive. And if it's it makes logical sense and it's fair enough we don't have the same ability to be provided with the information and we are not... Um, but we should be. But your motivation is there and I can hear it in your voice and that's <laughs> wonderful. But yeah, well, so the International able... Youth Council have mm -hmm. been trying to get a lot more youth involved and a lot more youth mobilized around water and putting pressure on our governments, especially in preparation for Rio Plus 20, because yep. Rio Plus 20 is happening in Rio de Janeiro in 2012. Um, and youth will be involved in that. Youth will be very involved through the major group of children and youth. And if you want to get involved, you can. It's open to anybody. <laughs> Great. And, um, Tell well, us more about that. Well, Where can we... Where can people well, register? You can do, um, well, you can get involved in a lot of different ways. You don't have to physically go to Brazil to get involved. You can. Put, we're trying because Rio de Janeiro and Rio Plus Twenty is um, reaffirming the political commitment to sustainable development. What you can do is put pressure on your government, whether it's your local politician, whether it's doing a poster campaign in your own school to promote um, sustainable development water or advocacy. It's important that we start talking about it and get it into dialogue because nothing is going to change unless we work hard together. Um, if you are interested in getting involved at a global or national level, at a national level, before the 1st of November, you can contact your government about getting involved with their Draft Zero. The Draft Zero is a document that they're preparing with the main um, issues that they're bringing to the table at Rio de Janeiro. So, um, green economy objectives, what are the objectives, what do we need to get done from Rio, what do we want Rio to give us, is something that you can contribute to. You don't have to be an expert to know what you want and what you need from our environment. So your voice matters and everyone's voice matters and I think it's very important to get involved and I don't think not knowing how to do so is a valid excuse. We all have you sh if you have access to the internet and Google, you can Google it and you can get involved. Great. And if you want to come Thank to you. Rio, you're more than able to do so. Thank you very much no for problem. your time today. <laughs> Thank Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>